triangle, square, circle, and in this lesson we'll make connections between the three objects here because that will certainly be a big part of a lot of your diagrams, I would think, being able to document and diagram the connections between people, places, and things in a process chart, in an organizational chart. You're going to connect the shapes. So again, we'll do that here, and we'll do that by using a different tool. So we'll go to the Home tab of the ribbon, and right next to the Pointer tool, there's a little drop-down, which doesn't look like much, but when you click on it, notice that I can use the Line tool. So we'll drag to draw a straight line. So it changes the cursor to look like this. And when I get near an object, you see these little points that appear. And these help me draw lines to make connections. These are actually glue points that I can use. So what I'll do is that I will wait till the cursor hovers over this point, and there's the green rectangle or square around that point. And in fact, why don't I zoom in just a skosh to show you this. So there it is. I can give this a click, and then with the connection point glued, I can then draw my line and then I can glue it to another connection point. And there we go. Now I've just drawn a line and I've connected these two objects. I'll do the same thing by selecting a connection point. There's one. And I'll click and drag and connect this to the circle. So again, I can connect here, here, I'll just go right to the center of the object. So now I will zoom to fit and switch back to the pointer tool. This is a good keyboard shortcut to remember, by the way. It's Control-1 to switch me back to the pointer tool. Now I can select the objects and select the connector and make adjustments. So what happens when I've got two objects glued together with this line is that I can select an object, move it, and the connection goes with. Now if I didn't do that, if I had a rectangle drawn or brought over into my diagram and then try to do the same thing, let's glue here, but when I let go of the mouse, I'm not going to use that as an endpoint. I'm not going to use that connection point. I'm just going to draw the line from there to there. So now I still have a line. I still have a connector uh, between these two objects. But now if I switch back to my pointer tool and move this rectangle, notice that the line does not go with because, again, the two things are not glued together. So certainly drawing a line is going to be an important part of your diagram. And sometimes you want the line drawn and you don't want it to move around. But a lot of times you do want that line to connect the two objects. And no matter where that object moves, you want that relationship that you have designated to remain intact. So why not let Visio maintain those relationships by gluing connection points? Now as a last note here, sometimes you want to get rid of a line and all you have to do is select it and just delete it. And that is true even if there is a relationship that has already been established. So here's an example where the two objects are glued together, I can still select the line and delete it.